Welcome to Stata Up Close and Card Review of the Stata software, which is a data analysis tool. So, one thing which I love about Stata is its simplicity. As I believe that simplicity is the out is the ultimate sof sophistication. So, Stata is very simple to use as a tool which assists us to do some basic data analysis, and with no much further ado. Let us do a simple carded review or starter software. So if you are a beginner, know that you are in the right place. Head feel at home. I I must assure you that in the end of this lesson, you shall be able to have to have grasped something simple in starter, which can help you to get started in using starter. So when you open the starter software, you will be bombarded by this interface so to get started and get a spreadsheet what you need to do is just type edit in the command section of the starter and then click ok so after doing that a spreadsheet will appear so after the spreadsheet appears now you can start to enter your data in the software and to do data entry in starter what you need to do you must be assured or you must know that when you are entering data in the starter software the data we somehow ignore inputting the variable names and start getting your data in the starter software so we enter it kienyeji style as some people may say so the first the data which i have is for the marks of some student in huruka high school in Nyeri. so we shall just take a sample of them and try and do analysis with them so we just enter the data without giving them variable names so my first student was george my second student was samson my third student was david my fourth student was douglas douglas my fifth student was Francis and my sixth student was Rinas. So I have the year score. So we enter variable names after inputting our data in the software. So that is where we do some variable naming. So we enter the year scores in various subjects. So my first subject is mathematics. So David had 69 in mathematics where well, samson had 58 in mathematics where well, david had also 58 in mathematics where well, this guy called a grass so had 75 in mathematics where well, francis had 36 in mathematics and reina said 49 so we shall continue to the that variable and check the score of this student in English so George had 65 and the suit for us let me enter the year scores in English so as I am entering the score in English Kaidri don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also and also like the video so that you will not be missing out some of my are wearing content like this yeah it's here so you shall continue getting the uh, marks in the software so this is how you do some basic data entry in, in starter so to start naming the variables what you need to do you just click the option data then scroll to where we have data utilities scroll to where we have the main group of variable so you shall start naming the variable so our variable one as you can see represent the names of these students so you just enter the variable and you can the interface you just open the variable one and rename it as name always remember to use the raw case numbers when entering data in in starter so um, i made a mistake i did not tell you that in the beginning instead of clicking ok and close this we do just click submit 
and the, the variable have been renamed so we'll get back to the interface add rename variable 2 so our variable 2 then we delete the first variable or just each variable 1 and replace it with variable 2 I will give it a name as math then click submit then enter variable 3 and give it a name as English and then click submit and this is how we do variable renaming in starter so in starter we don't we don't need a lot of work as compared to SPSS those who could have interacted with SPSS so the data is automatically entered in the software and the variables have been named so there is something which we call change of variable technique where we change string variable to numeric and vice versa so to do that maybe we want to change the name of this student to be for instance numeric rather than though it will not be able to distinct since the software is somehow programmed it have noticed that the name of people are in most cases a string variable but we can do a test that try and test the experiment since you could know how we do it so to change to, to do some basic change of variable technique where we change string variable to numeric just click the option data then move to where we have create or change data scroll to where we have other variable transformation and command and then come to where we have convert variable from string to numeric just click the option so string variable to convert just have been told to leave empty for all variables so we shall follow instruction create new variable we shall enter the variable as as name then i will just click convert specified variable to numeric to origin just mark inside this box click submit so you see that name contained a numeric con where uh, numeric character so no replacement can be done but we can be able i think to change mathematics from being a numeric to a string variable let us attest the test so we, we shall follow the same suit just click data come to where we have create or change data click other creation and commands uh, no other variable transformation and command come to where we have convert variable from numeric to string let us attest with math remember here grammar is a key then click inside this box and mark then click submit numeric variable must be filled in okay so yeah let us fill it here yeah numeric variable to convert you must enter it here then click submit so to string mathematic replace math was was a spring let's see let us test and see if it was and I test the test yeah it's now string so you can also use commands so the software is so good in using command you can put to string math replace and the command will do it for you and you can if you want to destring it and take it back to numeric you can also write d string write d string math replace and click enter and when you come back to the data you notice that the math have been this string and now is in numeric so this is how you do data entry in starter so to start some data analysis in starter if you want to generate a budget you just need to create graphics and come to here we have budget and also you can create a dot chart pie chart and histogram you can also do some advanced data analysis by doing some parametric test and non-parametric test if you want to do some parametric test you need to come to where we have linear model and related and then come to where we have you need to come you need to come where we have 
linear yeah I think I'm a bit confused let me check you need to come to where we have statistics then come to where we have summary table and test and then come to where we have classical hypothesis and do the sample test and now you can see we have one sample two sample using group two sample using variables and paired sample t-test using a 95% confidence level which is far much good to use it is good yeah and that is how i think we have we had a proper candidate review of starter so this one is the more sophisticated software though so out me simple to use and so simple out, um, interface to use so i have a, a comprehensive video in the description also appearing upward here showing you how to generate graphs and some interpretation using starter starter generate very classic graphs which are so alluring and so beautiful to use in your research it is so versatile and so good to run starter i shall i shall also create video showing you how to do some basic parametric test using starter thank you for watching also if you want to have a personal communication with me you can access or reach to me using twitter also using whatsapp using my contact in the description page also using the, our group whatsapp also in the description page where you can get data entry materials and also running materials which you need and also advanced class on how to interact with data thank you for watching benefit